Hey guys, it is me Ubaid and today we will see how we can uh, use our AI agent to schedule appointments for us, right? It can be for our business, it can be for our agency, it can be for your personal assistant, right? Who can talk to your customers or any users and take out their information and schedule an appointment in your Google Calendar, right? And obviously it can be a Microsoft calendar or any other calendar you have or even your CRM calendars, right? So yeah, let's see how it works and what we can achieve. Uh, so I will just use my Goha level in app dialer to connect to this agent and uh, then I will ask to schedule an appointment. Hopefully it will schedule it in my Google Calendar. Okay, let's see. It is dialing. Hello, welcome to Kennedy Family Dental. How can I help you today? Yeah, actually, I want to schedule an appointment. I have a tooth pain. Are you an existing patient with us? Yes, yes, I am an existing patient. Great. Could you please provide your name and email address so I can assist you with scheduling the appointment? Yeah. So my name is Sam Altman and the email is sam at the rate gmail .com. Thank you, Sam. When would you like to schedule your appointment? Let me know your preferred date and time. Yeah, so just do it for tomorrow, 4 p.m. I've scheduled your appointment for tomorrow at 4 p.m. If you have any other questions okay. or need further Already? assistance, have you got feel free some to ask. Confirmation that I am booked. I apologize for the inconvenience, Sam. It seems there was an issue with scheduling the appointment. Let me check the availability for tomorrow at 4 p.m. and get back to you. It looks like the closest available time for tomorrow is from 4:30 p.m. to 5 p.m. Would you like me to book your appointment for that time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4:30 uh, works. Your appointment has been successfully scheduled for tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. If you have any other questions or need further assistance, feel free to ask. Your appointment has been successfully booked for tomorrow at 4.30 okay, p.m. Thank you. If you have any Bye -bye. other questions. Okay, something happened. And uh, so what, what I'm thinking is because I already scheduled an appointment and then I deleted. So maybe there is some mismatch. But good thing is we got our appointment uh, scheduled. If we see our Google Calendar, yes, it is scheduled for 4.30 to 5 p.m., right? And with the Sam Altman, okay? So, and the Sam at the red gmail.com, what I said, right? Okay, nice. So, yeah, what is... Uh, you know, Sam Altman and here. And yes, all the details are good, right? Which we told our AI agent. Okay, so yeah. Let me reconfirm that. Yeah. Okay, all, all went well, right? Now, here is the thing. F for your, uh, like, personal use cases or like uh, when you are doing it for your custom business you may want to do some confirmation or validations to schedule the appointments right so one is like you respell uh, the email and all that and then you check in your crm or customer base that a customer is already present or not or you want to create a new profile or something and then only you want to schedule, right? Uh, because most of the businesses works like that, right? They have to know like who is there, who wants to talk, right? So yeah, uh, any, any uh, you know, functionality uh, your business currently process, it should be modeled by an AI agent. Otherwise there is no use, right? Okay, now let's see how we are doing uh yeah so the agent is uh 
built on the retail AI and uh, this is like the simple prompt I have set the role like for a dental clinic and then there are these functions let me just yeah. so book appointment and check calendar availability right and there is also the place order I will do another video on how you can use it but for the book appointment it use care.com and uh, connects your retail to your Google Calendar through a function right and this is the function basically book appointment now in our prompt we have to ask and we have to instruct our AI agent like if a customer asks to schedule an appointment please use this function right and then ask for the preferred date or time or maybe you want to have some other information as well like what is the problem statement you want to discuss about or what is like why you are calling right etc and then you just fill out this information into your calendar right uh yeah so i th i guess that was it for this video and uh for the phone number by the way we're using twilio if you are wondering and all the setup is very very simple right you can have it set up like uh, in under a day right within within 24 hours I think you can get it set up for your business like completely an AI agent let's say you now because you wa don't want to experiment with your real customers all the way right uh, from the start so what you can do is you have to uh, do it for off hours uh service right let's say your office is closed or your clinic or whatever your business is closed right now and now whatever the call will come you eventually will miss it right it will be of no use right but if there is an ai agent who is running 24 7 now anytime a customer call maybe it will get scheduled right and hopefully it will get right so it's all like in in your favor if you do it off hours for first and then if you're satisfied then you can like trust the agent and have it uh, answer your call like 24 7 all the calls should be delivered to your uh, AI agent and one thing you can do is also use 3CX PBX system with these agents right and i hope you know about the pabx uh, systems so i will do some videos about that but you know a lot of customers use that uh, 3cx uh, for their incoming calls outgoing calls uh, for their business and then uh, you can deliver your these calls to your ai agent through ivr or something like that uh okay and if you are uh, a business and you want some ai automations you can reach out through the email or the whatsapp and we can build things together okay i hope you like the video i'll meet you in the next one bye bye take care